After years of waiting, LEGO and Fortnite are finally doing a collaboration. There's just one issue. Even though they've made an entirely new game mode, made hundreds of LEGO Fortnite skins, and invested billions of dollars into this collab, we haven't gotten a single actual set. So today, I'm gonna be the one to fix that by making three LEGO sets based off of some of the most iconic OG Fortnite locations, with each set getting bigger and more complex as we go along. But before I start making the locations, we need to make sure that we have some people to populate them. And what better characters to make than the OG default skin. Of course, it only makes sense to start off with Jonesy. I began by designing his torso with several straps, pockets, a neckerchief, dog tags, and a belt. Then I designed the legs with some straps, boots, and padding. After that, I made his right arm, which has a bandana and a tattoo, which I've legified by making it look like a minifigure head. Then next, I made his actual head, which has a nice grin. And finally, for his accessory, I gave him a pickaxe using a rod and some snowshoes. And when we put it all together, I think we have a pretty good looking Lego Jones. Also, since all the male defaults wear the same outfit, I went ahead and made the face for the Hawk and Spitfire skins. Next, I obviously wanted to make the design of the female defaults. So I once again made the torso, hips, legs, and used the same design for the arm. Now let's refocus on set number one. And the location that I've decided to make is crates because it's not super big, but it is instantly recognizable to any OG Fortnite player. And it has plenty of loot. The design for this set should also be pretty easy as the crates are really just big metal boxes, but to make sure that the set isn't too boring, I'll also be adding some pallets and a golf cart. While I build this first set, let's go ahead and look at the rest of the figures for it. In addition to Jonesy, I decided to include two more defaults in this set, those being Ramirez and Spitfire. Ramirez has a smirking expression and a black ponytail hairpiece, while Spitfire has the same outfit as Jonesy, as I mentioned before, and he uses the fin hairpiece and has a large grin on his face as well as a goatee. Now, because this first set is based off of Krace, there's one skin that I just knew I had to include, that being the raptor skin. I've actually made this skin before in the past, but back then I printed the mask right onto the headpiece, and this time I'm going to use an actual mask mold and add some additional pieces for his olive green headset. Next I designed his torso, which is a bomber jacket with a fur collar, some straps, a zipper, and a belt, which continues onto his leg piece. And on the legs, I designed some padding, pockets, straps, and brown boots. For his accessories, I gave him the disco ball pickaxe and a grappler. The fifth and final figure I made for set number one is the clinical crosser soccer skin. Since this is the same base character model as Ramirez, I gave her the same head as well as a black ponytail, and then I designed the purple jersey with some blue and green markings. And finally, I gave her a ball as an accessory to represent the kickups in it. Alright, now that we've taken a look at all of the figures, let's take a look at the set, which I'm just now finishing up on. First, let's take a look at the side builds, with the first being the pallets, and there's not much to say about them, there's just wooden planks for farming, and behind them you can see Spitfire with the dual pistol. Next is the golf cart, which is able to seat two, maybe three figures if you really cram them in there, and it has a white and blue color scheme, as well as an orange sign on the side, and a yellow flag. Now, let's take a look at the crates themselves, which are all basically the same, with varying amounts of doors attached. The doors can hinge open, revealing chests, or items waiting to be looted inside, and they can also be stacked and rearranged in any way you please, making the set very customizable. I also used some modified 1x2 bricks to show some detailing on the sides of the crates, and I added some rods on the doors to add that extra bit of detail. So here's the final product, and I also did some box art for this set, making the box blue with some logos in the corner. I also added three skins in the top right hand corner, those being Jonesy, Skull Trooper, and Bright Bomber, as I think they are some of the most recognizable in the game. Alright, for this next set, I was inspired by one of my all time favorite LTMs that a lot of you probably remember playing, Food Fight, which allowed us to join in on the rivalry between Der Burger and Pizza Pit. And because Tomato Town sadly did not make a return in Fortnite OG, I decided to make Greasy Grove. The build for this location is relatively simple, barring one significant challenge, making the Der Burger head. I wanted to do this using only existing pieces, and for the most part I succeeded, however making the eyes attached to the bun proved to be nearly impossible, so I did make one new piece for the top bun with the olive and the eyes, but the rest of the burger is 100% purist and could be made with existing pieces. After I made the burger, I used some printed tile pieces to make the rest of the sign, and then I got to working on the rest of the building. So once again while I work on the building, Building, let's take a look at some figures, the first one obviously being Beef Boss himself, and to make his head, all I did was shrink down the Big Der Burger head. Then for the rest of his outfit, it has an orange and purple suit, and a bow tie, as well as some dark red boots, a recolored Batman belt, and a Der Burger logo on his right leg. Lastly, his accessory is a tack shotgun. Next up I made Grill Sergeant, who has a new hat headphone mold, and an annoyed expression, as well as an orange and purple outfit. He also has a white neckerchief, and a stained apron, and lastly, he has gray boots. Of course, since it wasn't 
inspired by the Food Fight LTM, I had to include Tomato Head in this set. His head was obviously the most difficult part, as no existing pieces really work. I tried to find a spherical piece that I could add some printing to, but unfortunately none of them worked in Mecha Bricks. So instead, I made the head out of a spherical helmet, a mustache, some plant pieces, and then added his eyes and post. For the rest of his outfit, you can see that it has a red and green color scheme with white stripes, a purple collar, and a belt buckle, as well as black boots, and then for his accessory, I gave him the pizza cutter pickaxe. The last minifigure that I made for this set is yet another default, this one being the Banshee skin, who uses the Kai hairpiece and has a concerned look, and although she isn't really related to the food fight conflict at all, I wanted to include another skin to team up with Tomato Head. Oh, and her accessory is a clinger. Now it's time to go ahead and take a look at the build, but before we do, I'd like to real quick say if you enjoy my videos and like to support me a little bit more, then consider using my code BRICKANIAC in the Fortnite item shop, as it really helped me out. Anyway, like the first set, this one includes a couple of side builds as well, the first one being a jetpack which the minifigs can wear, and since it was in the LTM, I think it's a fitting inclusion. Next is the first glider of the video, the flying saucer, and I tried including every detail, from the salt and pepper shakers to the dirt burger logo on the top. Lastly, I included a launch pad. Now for the main build, which is pretty big, with the standout detail of course being the burger that I made before, which I am super happy with, just this whole sign area is one of my favorite parts in this whole video. Anyway, the outside of the building has white walls, a dark brown roof, and orange and blue accent detailing. Then inside of the building are a bunch of seats and tables and a checkered tile floor. By the counter is a menu, a soda machine, and a grill, and in the back is a freezer and some Dur Burger boxes. On the second floor are some more boxes, an ammo box, a chest, and a Dur Burger poster. And finally, inside of the roof is another chest with some mats around it. So here's the completed set with all the figures and builds, and here's another box art that I designed for it. This time I actually used an AI tool to remove the restaurant from the original image that I used, and this worked out okay, it's definitely something I'll consider using more in the future, but it is a little weird looking. Anyway, now it's time for set number 3, and this is the most ambitious one yet, the Loot Lake Cube Island. This set is gonna be big, and also very challenging. I had to brainstorm how I was gonna go about building this, and eventually I decided to go with a combination of slopes, ball joints, and snot pieces. One of the biggest challenges was making Kevin the Cube himself, and how I was gonna attach him, but after lots of trial and error, I eventually settled on this, a ball joint attachment to the bottom of the rock work. After working out that issue, I spent the next few hours building up the rock work in various ways, so in the meantime, I think we should look at the figures. I included two default skins in this set, Hawk, who has the Qui-Gon hairpiece in black and a confident grin, and Wildcat, who has a ponytail and an excited expression. Next, since this location is from season 6, I made Calamity. She has a cowboy hat and pink hair, as well as a smiling expression, a white tank top, and ripped jean shorts. She also has brown boots, and her accessory is the guy glow pickaxe. The last two minifigs are Halloween themed, since this is a pretty spooky location, and the first one is my favorite skin to use, the Brainiac skin. He's basically just a zombified Jonesy skin, so I took the design for Jonesy and just slightly changed the color scheme, and then for his face, I gave him an angry expression and yellow eyes. The last figure in this set and in this video is Skull Trooper, who used to be the most coveted skin in the entire game. And rather than making it as accurate as possible, which is what it looks like LEGO Fortnite ended up doing, I decided to to instead make it look like a Lego skeleton design, so I printed on bone arms, legs, and torsos with gray detailing on the belt and neckerchief. He also has a serious look on his face, and then for his accessory, I gave him an RPG. Alright, now that I'm finishing up the build, let's take a look at that. I've been steadily building up the rock work up and out to make this massive platform, with a few details like translucent purple slopes and some bones coming out of the side. Then I started adding some greenery and extra detailing on the top. After that, I began working on the house, which I had to scale down quite quite a bit because I didn't want it to take up the entire island, but I was still able to fit a chest on the bottom floor and a bedroom and bathroom on the second floor. To access these rooms, I made it so that all you have to do is pop out the back walls and you can play with the inside, and then I began working on the area beneath the house, building up rock work and greenery and keeping a small area open for the hidey hole beneath the house. I also made a couple of simple tree designs and added them all around the house, but going back to the hidey hole from earlier, I added a few support beams and some extra rock detailing all around it, as well as a chest on the inside. And as a finishing touch, I added a default glider so the defaults can fly around and get shot out of the sky. But with that, the set is complete. Here's the box art for the set, as always, and as you can see, this time it's showing the island floating above Loot Lake. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let me know what other sets you'd like me to make. Should I make some more OG locations, or should I start doing some sets based off of the new LEGO Fortnite game mode? Just tell me down below what you'd like to see me do in the comments. And like I mentioned earlier, make sure to use my code BRICKANIAC in the Fortnite item shop. But yeah, 
that's all I have for you guys today. Have a great day and go build something awesome.